One particular problem that has come up on my radar a lot that I'd like to solve is when you make an appointment and you want to be reminded about that appointment. And furthermore, if there's any changes to that appointment. This problem is actually especially acute with my children's school because I have two children, they both go to school. There's a number of events that I need to be aware of. In Singapore, if I remember correctly, there was an app. And I feel like, yeah, app is a good solution. The app can send you notifications. It can do all that calendaring type thing. But is there a standards-based solution to what I want to do? There is a standard called um, iCalendar. And I feel like it's one of those like malign standards that no one uses, uh, namely because the usability is terrible. It's like the RSS feed, you know. RSS, brilliant idea, but you click on an RSS link and it just collapses. Um, and the same with um, a dot .ics file, you click it and most programs on the typical computer will not know what to do with it. What you do with it is find this usually hidden option to subscribe to the calendar in your calendar application. So let's let me just show you an example. Here I have a Google Calendar and I've subscribed to this event and it will appear here, right? See, this is just testing Friday. My my iCalendar is at this URL at event.debase.com. And again, I, I have it subscribed and it's showing me just testing Saturday. You might be asking, why is it saying just testing? Well, this is the interesting thing here. I made a little Lambda function which publishes an event but every time you uh, request that URL it updates to like a few hours in the future let me just check the source here how many hours in the future future um, I think I added it like to start now and finish one hour in the future okay fine something like this so it's up to the calendar application now to fetch that updated, I mean, normally it doesn't need to do it every hour. I'm, I'm being a little bit uh, pedantic here. Normally it's up to the calendar to maybe fetch it like once a day. Who knows what the frequency is? Maybe there's a way of configuring it in, in the iCal st a standard or something like that. But the idea is that your calendaring application fetches, subscribes to that URL, gets new uh, changes or updates or, or events and then slaps it on your calendar. So this is the way that I was thinking of, of solving the problem for just appointments at my, at my children's school. But yes, going back to the usability, um, if every parent got like an ICS uh, URL for their kids, yeah, that would need to subscribe to, to the, the calendar, which is pretty hard. Then I wouldn't know if their calendar was able to show it. And it just, yeah, it just makes me think that maybe they're just better off with some app. So question to you, do you think the ICS iCal route that I'm thinking of is viable? Or Tell me how you do it in your school or your uh, dentist practice or whatever. How do they let you know about appointments? Um, yeah, but don't, don't, don't tell me they ring you up. Okay, no, 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 it can't be that silly. Okay, technologically, how can they, is there some good solutions, like good apps that I'm just not aware of or good, good, good yeah, something good that I'm just not aware of. Okay, comments below. And uh, yeah, have a look at, uh, may maybe subscribe to adevent.debase.com just to test your calendar app out too. Please like the video. Please subscribe for more.